Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shruti and today we're going to look at what UK universities look for and what we can do to prepare for them. So what aside from grades university look for is that we have a passion for the subject we're learning and that we can think on our feet and solve problems. So how can we prepare for it? How can we show that we have passion for the subject we're interested in? So the first thing we can do is read books. That doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be textbooks, it can be um, pop science books. So a lot of UK universities have a recommended reading list for each subject, so that's something you guys can check out. It, it's really helpful. Um, another thing you guys can do, and it's a major, um, it's a big thing that you guys can work on, is a passion project. So in your passion project, you can include a list of things, including um, writing and publishing an article, um, starting an after-school club, um, starting a podcast or YouTube channel. Um, so there's a variety of things you guys can do, and it's not just limited to one of them. Um, and like this video and comment down below if you guys want me to do a separate video on just how to go about a passion, passion project. So the next thing you guys can do is take courses. Um, so there's these really good websites called edX and Coursera. I'll link it down in the description below. Um, they're really good websites. They have very diverse range of courses that you guys can select from. Um, but otherwise, you guys can just Google it. You'll find a lot of different courses. Um, taking courses really help in expanding your knowledge, especially because there's a lot of um, college level, undergraduate level courses out there. So those are really helpful in expanding your knowledge. Um, the next thing you guys can do and something that I find really interesting is that you guys can take part in competitions. Um, I mean, this just involves a lot of research. You guys keep searching for, um, you know, competitions out there. There's a lot that do exist, especially in terms of entrepreneurship and in terms of technology and robotics. There's a lot of competitions that constantly keep happening. So that's a really good opportunity to sort of explore. Um, it's not necessarily about, um, you know, getting prizes and winning that's um, important in this. It's more of, you know, it doesn't matter even if I fail, I will still try kind of thing. And you guys can always talk about your experience and you do learn a lot from it moving forward. Um, another thing similar you guys can do is internships. This really shows that, you know, you are... Um, willing to go above and beyond and out of your um, you know out of your way to just do something and it shows that you have enough passion to just you know go out of your way to explore the subject so the point of all this is to show admission officers that you know you that we've explored the subject enough to know that we're ready to study it for the next three to four years so unlike um, UK universities, US universities have a minor where you can study a different subject. But UK, since UK universities don't offer that, you know, we really have to show that we're ready to study it um, for the rest of our time at the university. So we need to show that we're learning and trying difficult and new things. And we don't have to be the best at it. We just need to show that, you know, we're committed to the subject. So that's it for today's video guys don't forget to like and subscribe so that you guys get notified when i upload new videos and like and comment down below if you guys want me to make more videos like this and i will link my podcast in the description below don't forget to check that out always question always wonder